Hey, what's up, everybody? This is JK. Welcome back to JK's Tech Lab. Just a quick video I wanted to share for anybody that's trying to learn Microsoft 365 or Azure kind of security compliance, different stuff like that. That's what I've been digging into. Um, super fun, but there were a couple areas that I found myself kind of kind of mixing up. And that's uh, information protection and information governance. Now, you know, obviously, when you hear protection and governance, you you think of certain things, but uh, specifically how it how it's handled within Microsoft's um, environment so the best thing for me like I said I went through the I went through the videos I went through Microsoft learn I've, I've been going through books reading documents and stuff like that and all that's cool and it helps um, kind of give you an idea of what's going on but for me it didn't really click you know really click and stick until I was able to actually get into the the environment and look around and I just wanted to share a couple of things that made it click for me so um, when you when you go to information governance um, because for me it's like you know governance security they're all kind of together and they kind of build on each other but um, there are some key differences in why they have information governance versus information security so the main thing for me that helped it click was um, the labels that get applied in each section and obviously you know there's different areas of overlap and stuff like that. But for me, this is what helped me and it was the labels. So when you go into information governance, for me, when you think governance, you think retention labels. So you see right there, these are the type of labels that you're going to be dealing with when you're dealing with governance. You're going to be governing how long you're supposed to keep things, you know, when they can be deleted, if they can be deleted, all that type of stuff. On the on the flip side, when you go into protection, um, and you may be able to kind of get where this is going now. Now that I think about it, it's like, yeah, that makes sense. But when you're trying to learn a bunch of stuff at once and you're just because there's so much stuff in within the security sections and you know compliance and information protection all that stuff within azure and 365 it's a lot so um these two things whenever i feel like i'm not uh when i feel like i'm mixing things up sometimes then i want to i want to drill down on that so for me like i said this may not even be an area of contention for you but for me, this is what helped. When you think about protection, now that you know that information governance is dealing with retention labels and things like that, and obviously it deals with more, but I'm saying this is what helped me. Like when you want to go into the to the governance section, you're you're going to be dealing with you know retention labels. When you want to go into protection, the labels that you're going to be dealing with here are obviously sensitivity labels. And you can go right here to the labels tab and see, okay, what am I dealing with? Under information protection, I'm dealing with the sensitivity labels. I'm dealing with, you know, classifying this this data. Is it going to be encrypted? All these different things. And for me, that's when it clicked when I when I focused on what labels are applied within each section. So um, just something that to help out if uh, like me, you're you're trying to um, just wrap your head around all the different products that are available inside of Azure and 365 when it comes to security. For me, um, super fun digging into this stuff, man. I love playing around with it. Like I said, I go in. Um, this is actually my uh, developer tenant, so I have access to all the different stuff. And for me, um, the best way to learn is to actually use it. So go in, you know, mess around with these different labels, see how it applies to your data. You know, actually even just going through the, the the portal and just looking under each section like okay what's in you know each one of these different areas or one of these different blades for me that's what made it click like i said i read you know documentation on information protection and governance went through microsoft learn on those things was able to pass pass the questions just fine you know what i'm saying right after you read it but then like when you're thinking about it coming back or maybe going over your notes or just um trying to test yourself with other questions or whatever it is or if you, even if you're just trying to explain it sometimes i try to explain it you know, just look through different things and try to explain it to myself or write out the explanation. I'm like, okay, which one is it? Which one is the, what's the difference between the governance section and protection? Not what's the difference between governance and protection in general, but when it relates to Microsoft, how do they distinguish? Why do they have these two areas? For me, it was the labels that made it click. So when you just think about the labels, if you think protection, the labels are going to be sensitivity, you know, and protection is dealing with security, encryption, different things like that. When you're thinking about governance, you're going to be thinking about retention, governing how long, you know, the, you're going to keep this data. When can this data be deleted? All that type of stuff. So those are just two things that, that helped me out as far as understanding the difference between information protection and information governance. Hopefully it helps you out. If not, cool. If it does, cool. Until next time, I'll see y'all later.
Peace.